Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here, and uh, grateful to have you tuning in. Uh, in these uh, final stretch of our look at the book of Psalm, we're in uh, Psalm 116 today. And you know, as you go through the book of Psalms, there's a lot of Psalms of Thanksgiving, which uh, is not about our holiday and eating turkey and stuffing, uh, but about thankfulness and expressing gratitude. Uh, and there's generally two categories for this. There is a corporate or group-natured Thanksgiving, which is, God, look at what you've done for us as your people, us as your church, us as uh, a nation, of uh, just as creation, and, and thinking broad picture with that. But there's also some that pop up, like what we're going to look at today, that are very personal in nature. Um, this uh, maybe wasn't uh, intended for it to be something publicly shared, but is uh, useful in God's uh, scripture for us to understand how to follow him better. Uh, but it's a reflection on what God does in our life uh, and what we should do as a result. See, Psalm 116 starts with this. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he has inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The stairs of death encompass me. The pangs of Sheol hold on me. I suffer distress and anguish, and I called for the name of the Lord. He goes on to just explain how even in this, this moment where people were trying to kill him and, and he thought that his life was ending, God showed up. God saved him. God provided for him and helped him. And sometimes that's our prayer. Sometimes we look and we say, God, this was a desperate moment and you showed up. Sometimes I was at my lowest, I was at a difficult place and you showed up in a mighty and incredible way. But it doesn't end there. I love that the psalm continues to give us a picture of what our response to this should be as well. See, a pick up in verse 12, it says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? Basically, how can I repay you? What can I do in response to your goodness? It says, I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious is the sight of the Lord and is the death of his saints. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am the servant, son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. See, the, the psalmist reflects back on what God had did, done in his life and how he showed up in mighty, incredible ways. And he said, I'm going to serve you in response. I'm going to worship you. I'm going to serve you. I'm going to proclaim your goodness to other people. I'm going to pay tribute to this. I'm going to seek to serve you with my life. And there's a, a verse in the, the middle of the psalm, verse 9. It says, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. See, sometimes we just think uh, our worship to God will come in heaven when we're there, but it should be happening every day. In the land of the living is we're amongst the people that we're doing life with. Let's walk before the Lord. Let's be faithful to him. Let's serve him. Let's walk in obedience to him. Let's seek to give our lives to the call that he has for us because he has showed up. He has blessed us. He has saved us. He has done mighty and great works on our behalf. And our response is to serve him with our life. And I hope that you will do that with yours. Have a great day, Calvary. See you next time.